Hey guys, Adam here from Sapphire Dasher. Hope everyone is doing well. We're back again with another ride along video. Uh, today we're actually going to go dash in a new zone. Uh, just to the south of Ashburn Herndon West. We're actually going to, we're gonna give uh, Centerville and Chantilly a try. Uh, the southern part of that zone that includes South Riding, Aldi, and Middleburg. Uh, that's going to be my focus areas. And the uh, far south of um, Ashburn. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to work my way down to the zone, see if we can dash along the way, open up my apps, and we'll get going here. And as soon as this loads, oh, let me still think, I'm on now. There we go. Oh, and it's busy, so we're gonna, uh, oh, it was busy. No, no less. I'm going to keep that up so we can hit the dash now button as soon as it goes green. And I will get back to you guys when we have the first order. Okay, guys, so got the first orders. I uh, decided to do a breeze instead in this area instead of DoorDash. Um, it is from Pop Lilies. I'm sorry, uh, no, uh, Popeyes. So, got two pickups. Uh, they're all going the same direction, so uh, let's go pick them up. I don't think I took a screenshot of it, but I will include a screenshot of the totals afterwards um, when they come back later this afternoon, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I got those two pop uh, Popeyes orders picked up, and the orders were ready. Drinks were filled up, which is fantastic. And to deliver these we got we got our first customer our second customer and we're ready to start deliveries head to your head to your keep right keep um, right first drop off is 2.2 miles away from here so let's go drop it off one thing about carrying multiple big drinks is i get worried about them tipping over So I moved them into the uh, center console's cup holder. So let's hope that helps them on our journey to our first customer to drop these off. I just have no idea where this is going. It could be a business, it could be a house, it could be a townhome, it could be an apartment. But nonetheless, here we are uh, delivering it up to them. And the area that I'm delivering in is considered to be the uh, Centerville Chantilly zone on DoorDash. And Uber Eats is just another place that uh, does Uber Eats food delivery. I've been down here multiple times delivering to Stone Ridge and Aldi. So I figured why not dedicate uh, most of my Saturday to uh, Saturday lunch basically from like 12 to 3 up here. And a half mile make a right turn on Pine Road. We could have good customers, we could have bad customers. But we will see. And one thing about Uber Eats, and I mentioned this multiple times, is customer service is key. Everything about Uber Eats is all about customer service. Because the customers don't know when we get to the restaurant. They only know when they're when we're on delivery with their food. So a good way to do this is update your customers on the status, whether their food is delayed or not, and just keep them posted so they're not uh, blowing up your phone and be like, hey, where's my food? I ordered it hours ago. And you don't want to get into that. But anyways, we are going to... Uh, work our way to our first customer here, right and I will come back after road. dropping it off. Alright, we got that order dropped off. Now it's on to our second drop off, which is only another two miles from here. 
easy drop off, town home. Very easy to deliver to town homes during the, during the day. So, uh, that's all good. Now we're just going to uh, make a UE up here. Borrow Making someone's. Making U-turn to stay on Oppenham Terrace. Oh, necessarily don't need to borrow someone's uh, driveway this time. Can move it around this way. Uh, this customer wants me to leave it at their basement door. Well, as long as it doesn't require me going to the backyard, sure. Or you could just meet me at the basement door. Make a left turn on Pine Forest Drive. But anyway, it's going to go drop this uh, order off and we'll be back after. All right, guys, we got that order dropped off. And we already got our next order here from someplace. It's only $2.42, but the reason I took it was I want to get familiar with the area. So what better way to get familiar with the area than accepting every order? I don't expect any hidden tips on a $2.42 order, but like I said, we're just, uh, we're just, um, exploring the new area. Any familiar with the customers that live down here in, um, I think, Chantilly? Yeah, this is Chantilly. Nice little houses. A little close together, but uh, what do you expect? Make a left turn on Woodman Corner Drive. To, to our next uh, pickup from, I didn't catch the place's name, but I think it's Bolka something. So I'm gonna get that picked up and get back to you when I pick it up or after I drop it off. Don't know which yet. All right, just got to the customer, just got to the restaurant. Uh, this is uh, from Polo Express. We'll see if the food is ready. Let's go. Okay, right, so we got our next we got that food picked up from the Peruvian chicken place. Smells great. And Uber Eats, of course, added another delivery on. And we are on our way to Chick-fil-A to go pick it up. I know the food will likely be ready by the time I get up to Chick-fil-A because the Chick-fil-A here in South Riding is fast as hell. So we are going to work our way down there and then we will be on our way to drop our customers' foods off to them. The nice thing about um, the nice thing about Uber Eats is the customer can follow along easily with me make a slight of right where turn, I am make a left turn uh, relative to the location. So they know I got their food. I message the customer just to let them know it's like, hey, I got your food, but I got another order to pick up along the way. And I would keep her, I would keep them posted as I work my way to them with their food. So, anyways, gonna. Go and uh, and a half mile head off to Chick-fil-A, right which is less than a mile ride. away from where our first pickup was, and get that food. And I think it was like an additional uh, four dollars. So yeah, it works out in the end. It'll be about six dollars and twenty-four cents. Oh, and uh, screenshots. I I, I try to take the screenshots, right but I'll provide the screenshots uh, as best as I can after their totals are posted later. Anyways, gotta go pick this up. All right, we got the Chick-fil-A order picked up and the food was ready. And if you guys can smell my car right now, it smells amazing in here. Whew, made me kind of hungry. So we're gonna head to our first order and drop it off. I'm not sure where that's going. Head to your drop off at 4301. Right, had a couple.
cut that short so we wouldn't uh, hear the uh, location for our customer privacy, you know, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna leave the Chick-fil-A here and work our way out of the Chick-fil-A's parking lot. And I go from there. So we're gonna head to our first drop off, which is about ooh, less than a mile away. So sir, the customer's gonna be very, very happy about that. Very happy. Oh, that was stupid. after we drop off these deliveries. All right, ooh, damn, glare. <laughs> All right, so we got that order dropped off. Now we're on to our second order drop off, which is only about 1.2 miles away from here. So it all works out in the end. It, uh, it was high miles for low pay, but uh, ultimately uh, this, uh, this delivery trip with uh, two trips in it, it worked out in the end for us. So we're going to head to our second customer drop-off and go from there. So far, the South Riding area, not too shabby, not too shabby. Well, there are some scary-ass intersections like coming out of Chick-fil-A. But anyways, we're going to go drop this off at our second customer and go from there and I apologize for the glare check in with you guys after we drop it off there you guys, so we got that order dropped off and a pretty nice air pretty nice houses over here um, I had a Porsche like a really brand new Porsche in his uh, driveway you think you guys you think you guys I'm gonna get anything extra on on top of that or you think I'm gonna be tip baited I guess we'll find out when we go uh, look at the numbers uh, later. But anyways, we're uh, it's 12.46 right now, and we're just making our way out of here in search of our next order. So I think I'm going to head down to where um, Glory Days is and kind of uh, post up over there and see if we get anything in there. Oh, glass in the middle of the street. All right, checking with you guys later. All right, so we did get one order coming. It was a shop and pay order. What are you doing? Um, and uh, it was going only eight miles, but it was 23 items from the Target and Chantilly. Um, I wouldn't necessarily take a shop and pay order unless it was the uh, slow times, which out here are usually between uh, eh, about three to five are the slow times out here. It's still technically lunch time. Actually, it is lunch time. And yeah. Uh, not sure why people would, I wouldn't recommend doing a shopping pay order because they do take a, a while to complete and then you gotta deliver it and, uh, hopefully it's not going up to a fourth floor apartment. And it's just, a it's just a little, uh, they just take too long to do. So I usually avoid them. I do a pretty good job of it. Anyways, we are going to, uh, we're heading back into my normal area now. 
uh, was starting to get a little uh, slow down there in South Riding and uh, track was a little bit so I gave, I gave a different area a fair shot. I gave it about an hour. It's okay. Um, so I am just going to uh, continue doing my uh, doing my stuff up here in Ashburn and Sterling and a little bit of Leesburg. Uh, probably won't come back down to um, this area unless it is an absolute banger. Um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, riding along with me this far. Uh, all my tips haven't come in yet, but we're at 773 at the moment. And yeah, we are uh, just going to go into Ashburn and uh, see what we can get in the next uh, two hours. All right, so we got our next order here from Tropical Smoothie going back to Aldi, where I just came from, uh, for $9, six miles which is about 11 miles and most of those miles are to from the from the store to the customer so that's a okay uh you take away two miles about nine miles so it's about it works out to be about a dollar a mile um and it looked like it was going to uh it's definitely going through it's definitely going through uh will's farm and if i recognize the area well enough i think it's going to a similar customer that I've delivered to in the past. So, or, or near a customer that I delivered to. So we're gonna go uh, pick this up and you know earn a little bit, of, earn some money before we uh, haul it back to Ashburn and Ernest. Besides, I did say that I kind of wanted to work around the all the South Riding area today. So it's all good. Let's go get this picked up. All right, guys. So we got our tropical smoothie order picked up. Now we're going to go drive 10 miles to deliver it. Uh, Uber Eats did stack it with a Cold Stone Creamery. And i was like oh yeah i'll set it then i then i thought about it. i was like i got a smoothie that needs to go 10 miles and i would have ice cream that would need to go an additional i don't know two miles so i went ahead and canceled that yeah that's gonna affect my cancellation rate but uh it's okay uh, right cancel it. my cancellation rate is probably somewhere in the near 20% now uh, but it's going to reset at the end of the month uh, so I'm not entirely worried about having a Making really bad on North Star Boulevard. having a really bad um, cancellation rate uh, the reason why I cancel orders is I decide that, you know what, I don't want to pick this up. Let me focus on this order or let me get Just something ahead, better. Just left turn on Evergreen Mills Road. Uh, probably the biggest thing that affects Uber Eats and could get you deactivated make is the cancellation rate. If you, go up to, if you get over 20%, then yeah, you're at risk of uh, deactivation. So i got to be careful. So I'll be taking a look at my acceptance rating and my uh, cancellation rate uh, at the end of this shift to see... Uh, what we got going on But anyways, uh, we're gonna do our take our drive up to all the end I go from there Okay, so we're still on this uh, tropical smoothie delivery for uh, nine dollars and Uber Eats decided to take me down a road called the Woods Road, and it is indeed a road that is nothing but woods. Basically going through some good old-fashioned farmland of Loudoun County, Virginia. Farmland that hasn't been sold to a data center developer or a housing developer yet. So we are uh, working our way down here to Aldi. I uh, didn't know this road went all the way through from Leesburg to Aldi, but apparently it does, but I would recommend this. If you're going to Aldi from Ashburn, just uh, take Route 50. 
it's safer and you don't have to worry about narrow bumpy roads that you don't know what's down on this road. There's some abandoned places though. Well, there's a couple houses down here. But I guess people live at. But, uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't think I'll deliver down this way again. And it wants me to make a left onto Route 15 from this, uh, road. I don't see that happening. I seriously don't see that happening. So you know what? There we go. We're gonna make a U-turn where it's a little bit safer. Holy shit. <laughs> I. Customer, if you watch this video, you better have tipped me some damn good money for this god awful drive. But it looks like I get to deliver to a farm. In a half mile drop off. Hmm. Which farm do I get to deliver to, though? Hmm. I'm gonna get a free pumpkin. Come again, y'all. Well worth it. Oh shit, did I leave that recording? My bad. Uh, holy shit. So that was delivering to a pumpkin patch. 
I wish I could have seen that. I wish those directions were up front in the Uber Eats app. Oh my God, that was not an easy drop off. So what we're gonna go do is we're gonna, I put my uh, Uber Eats on pause and we're going to work our way out of here. It's a little pumpkin patch. I didn't know there was a pumpkin patch down here. So we are gonna get that drop. Here and get back to some place uh, safer. Let's make a left on to Route 15 from here. One car. Two car. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, freedom. Oh, my God. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I hate I'm, I'm making this vow now. <laughs> Guys, I am no longer going to deliver to anything Aldi. I'm only going to focus on deliveries going out to Ashburn. And that's it. No more. No more of this. I'm done. I am so fucking done. Yes, this is a nice area and all. But for the love of fucking God, it's a pain in the ass to navigate. Oh, shit. That wasn't worth no $9. God fucking damn it. I'll talk to you guys later.